I've literally just filmed an entire video and then I looked at it and I looked ugly. So I'm not posting it. <sighs> Before I film this video, I feel like I'm seeming really sad and that's not what I want to get across right now. I am happy. I'm just annoyed at the fact that I looked so disgusting in my last video that I'm not posting it. So I'm going to have to redo the whole video. I really cannot be bothered with saying everything that I just said before. I was basically going to do, what I did do was a um, favourite non-fiction books uh, because I'm not a, I was never a huge fan of non-fiction. I didn't really understand what it was. I assumed that it was all just like sciencey, like fact, information, nature books when in actual fact it can be anything from autobiographies, to um, poetry, to self-help books, advice books, anything like that. And so really quickly, because I am really annoyed at the fact that I have already been through all this once, I am going to take you through a couple of my favorites, which I think that you should watch. I said a couple, I meant to say five, there are five. Quick side note, I completely forgot to say this in the video, but I am wearing my new Little Mix t-shirt, which I got on Tuesday. This is going up on Sunday. On Tuesday, I went to see Little Mix. They were so much better than I thought they would ever be because I'm a big fan of Little Mix but like I'm not obsessed with them or anything and if I'm being honest with you I thought they'd be the kind of people who like when you watch them live they can't hit any of the notes or anything but Amazing. I'm just going to pick them up in order now, there's no specific order because been there done that it didn't work for me open it's by Gemma Kearney it's a self-help book it's really really pretty like there's so many different patterns every page is a different pattern like um I don't know if you can see any of this because the lighting's terrible today it's got four sections in it your heart your mind your body and soul and your world and your future and it just covers things from like uh, family friendship heartbreak death grief depression anxiety, addiction, um, happy minds, periods, body image, exercise, sex, um, consent, politics, volunteering, prejudice, feminism, money, careers, everything is in this book, like, that was not even, like, half of what is in this book, but yeah, definitely give it a go, it's, like, it's not a quick read, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's, like, an interesting read, like, not, it's not just, like, a boring bog standard, like, page after page, like, different things go on it's it's interactive which i didn't know it was i haven't interacted with it because i have a little bit a little bit of a thing about um writing in books ocd in that area yeah second thing is second book even is a autobiography by one of my favorite people professor green it's an autobiography it's about his life it's about his childhood his family becoming a rapper marriage um with like millie and his past girlfriends and stuff what I really like about this book um, is that it, each chapter starts with a mixtape and you literally download an app which comes with the book, uh, scan it into your phone and it'll come up with like a couple of pictures that aren't in the book or a video or something cool like that and I think that's a really nice touch because it makes it a lot more personal uh, to the reader because you can obviously only get that content if you go out and read the book which I think is a really cool thing to have done. Next is... Um, Milk and Honey, which is the first ever poetry book I ever read because I didn't really understand what poetry was all about. Um, I thought it seemed boring, I didn't really get it. And then I read this this book and it just changed my mind completely. Like, if you aren't a big poetry reader, if you've never tried poetry, definitely, definitely get this one first because it's not taxing to read at all. Like, look how long that poem is. It's not going to focus, is it? Look, like that is how long some of these poems are they are ridiculously small but so meaningful so like powerful and beautiful a personal favorite which i'm going to read out i've like posted noted my favorites um sorry. people go but how they left always stays something so simple like that just makes you like think and it makes you very nostalgic it makes for a very nostalgic read like i don't know why i just i really enjoyed reading it and I think if you are into poetry already and you haven't read this, which I highly doubt because who haven't read this book now, if you're into poetry and you haven't read it or if you're not into poetry or you want to give it a go, definitely try Milk and Honey. That is my, is a uh, self, oh freaking hell I can't speak today. Whew. Next is a book by uh, one of my favourite humans to have ever walked earth, Carrie Hope Fletcher, a huge fan if 
you can't i'm saying if you can't already tell but you can't really already tell because i've literally got like four videos video i've literally got like four videos up and she isn't in any i don't think but yeah huge fan it's the book signed yeah it's a it's called all i know now and it says the wonderings and reflections on growing up gracefully basically carrie said that she wished that she had like a self-help book for when she was uh joining secondary school so that's the kind of age that it's aimed at sorry i've got a bit of a cold coming on yeah it's like it's just about different things that you face when you're in primary school so like making friends handling bullies making mistakes social media feeling pretty dating yourself you understand if you read it being happy dreams like your aspirations in life and being unrealistic with yourself like just little things like that and because Carrie is like a um, theatre actress like she does musicals and stuff uh, she set it out like a, a, a production which I think is really clever so you've got your prologue and your overture then your different acts you've got an interval then the rest of your acts then at the end you've got your finale your props which are like all the contacts and like websites and that that you can go to and then your curtain call which is the acknowledgements and i think that's a really clever like, idea i don't think anyone's ever done that before except her correct me if i'm wrong but yeah it's a really good book and i definitely read that if you are around that age or you just want to feel nostalgic because i think that's kind of what happened to me although i really enjoy reading like self-help advice kind of books i just find it interesting to hear what different people have to say on different like things the final one is um a personal fave uh, it's called doing it let's talk about sex and it is by hannah whitton hannah is a sex positive blogger uh, if you don't watch her on youtube you should definitely subscribe to her she is so amazing she's really funny she's really nice she's very very intelligent and i think it's important that she's wrote this and that she is like a sex positive vlogger because no one talks about this kind of stuff anymore every single thing that is in this book is a massive taboo because no one wants to talk about it so i think it's really important that she's kind of like took on that responsibility for herself because kids are growing up nowadays not having a clue about some stuff you know like the amount of things that i've learned from her um youtube channel about different things so different types of contraception and like the pills and stuff and um her experiences with like periods and different um pads and the menstrual cup things like that and it's just it's she's very interesting she's a very interesting person and she's wrote a book on what her channel's based upon there's all sorts in here that's fine so stis consent body image virginity healthy relationships sexting sex shaming consent i don't know if i've already said that or not but yeah, it's really, really interesting, really good book, and if you want to educate yourself more and you just want to know a bit more about this and you ain't ashamed to own a book that says let's talk about sex, go get it, because I literally walked into Waterstones and walked up to the counter and said, can I have doing it, let's talk about sex. Yeah, that is it for today. I'm really sorry that this is a bit of a crap video, but I've literally come in from school, got changed, filmed a video, didn't like what happened in the video at all it was the same stuff like about the same stuff i just i didn't like the way it looked the way i looked and it was not going to be going online so i'm a little bit annoyed about that about having to do it completely again so i'm really sorry if it seems rushed and like i didn't say much but i was going to try and keep it short anyway because all my videos on my channel are like eight minutes long and who wants to watch me for eight minutes like please i mean i know i'm good but i'm not that good so yeah thanks for watching and i will promise you that i will have a better video up for next week and also keep your eyes peeled because halloween is on a tuesday i upload on a sunday so next week you're going to be getting a video on sunday and tuesday please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video sorry if i seemed a bit down in the dumps i'm not i was just <laughs> it's just <laughs> having to film the whole thing again i knew it's my choice not to put it on but i'm not going to put something on if i don't like the result of it hopefully that when i watch this one back it won't be as bad but i'm going to go now because i'm waffling on so yeah like and subscribe if you want to and i shall see you again on sunday